So what is going on guys? My name is Mad Zombie. Welcome to today's video ladies and gentlemen. Today we have actually so much to discuss on the channel about Call of Duty World War 2 specifically headquarters and everything that Michael Condry and Sledgehammer Games has stated in an interview with Eurogamer guys. So Keep in mind, everything I'm going to be going over today is being read off of an article, and I'll link that article down below in the description. It's a Charlie Intel article, and this is basically every quote that he said and they talked about in this interview about headquarters, a lot of features to do with headquarters, specifically like where it takes place, what you can do in it, and just features that go into in-depth with it, guys. And Again, there's a lot to be read and, and talked about here, so I'm going to be reading a lot of these quotes. This might take a little bit, so if you guys want to just sit down, relax, let's get right into it, guys. So in an interview with Eurogamer Sidechammer Games, Michael Condry has shared new details on some features that will be available inside headquarters in Call of Duty World War II multiplayer. So, Kondry tells Eurogamer that World of Warcraft's or Grimmar, I don't know if I'm saying that right, I've never played World of Warcraft, but he said it was inspired by that. That's what's behind the concept of headquarters. It was inspired by that. So one quote by him is this. Remember the first time you went to or Grimmar in World of Warcraft? Me specifically, no, but maybe you guys have before. He said, remember that first time experience when you did your quest and you leveled up and earned all these great rewards and then walked into Orgrimmar and it was a bustling city of people with all these activities that made it a community. Whether it was the guy who was just showing off his max rank, all purple mounts or people going to mayo or people gifting each other things. The sense of a community was something we felt Call of Duty hasn't capitalized on yet. That's what our attempt with headquarters is. So he goes on to say, your division officer may say, hey, it's time for you to head into battle. Go complete war and be successful. Bring back that success and we'll give you a reward. So some will be social quests. It might be a quest that sends you to a Nazi zombies experience or compete a 1v1 or create your own first emblem. So these are kind of like contracts, I guess we can call them. So alongside these challenges, Headquarters has different things for players to directly do inside of Headquarters space. Players compete in a 1v1 pit, or maybe communicate with others through voice chat, or use emotes to salute other players. Sidehammer Games tells Eurogamer that the emotes are era appropriate, so probably dabbing and all this kind of other stuff that we got. If you guys remember in Black Ops 3, all the kind of taunts and gestures that we have, there was some funny ones and some, you know, kind of cool ones that the game had, but then there was like ones like dabbing and other stuff. So I guess that's probably what we can experience and expect in this upcoming, I guess, feature. So the article goes on to say, as you earn higher social points, Sledgehammer Games will reward you with either a new gear, calling card, or other customization items. Now this is kind of cool, it really is game changing to us if you really look at it from a certain perspective I guess. So as a part of the game there's also a new mail system where Sledgehammer Games might send you a notification to redeem a reward in HQ. Or the other notification could be a brand new challenge for you to tackle in game. And one quote is, in World of Warcraft mail was a great vehicle to send me to this social place. He says, in Call of Duty World War II, you might get mail from Sledgehammer Games. You're playing a match of domination or maybe the new war mode and you get a little not notification. Hey, I've got mail. And you go to headquarters and you go to your mail and it's a thank you from us. Maybe some reward, something like that. So that's pretty damn cool. You get kind of a notification saying, hey, you did this challenge. Here's a reward or hey, thank you for this. It can literally be any kind of mail from Sidra Hammer Games themselves, letting you know the gratitude or just giving you new orders to do. So another thing they focused on was grouping up aspect in Call of Duty. Many players do play solo while others join up in groups. Headquarters will allow players to find new people and go straight into lobbies with them. So he goes on to say, and this is a quote, grouping up will be a part of headquarters experience. 
which is a great way to find like-minded people in the community. Frankly, we haven't always exposed that to the community in the way we should. You and I might be in, hanging out, having fun, and then say, let's go play some zombies. We'll be able to notify the lobby looking for zombies groups. We'll think that will be a fun way to play together, and that is pretty damn cool. Honestly, so it's like you can find groups of people that are kind of, you know, looking for the same kind of, I guess, game mode or game type to play. So whether that's zombies, multiplayer, headquarters, a kind of different way of doing it. So domination, any other kind of game modes maybe even. So that's pretty damn cool, I gotta say. There's also going to be a new way to prestige in Call of Duty World War II. In previous Call of Duty titles, player just visited the barracks in the game menu and prestige up in the level. In World War II, headquarters will show off players who prestige in special ways. And goes on to say, I think about the process of prestiging in Call of Duty. I've worked my butt off to prestige and I get the prestige and I'm sitting on my couch by myself. I press a button and I get a little bit of fanfare. Not a whole lot. And then I'm done. You go to headquarters and you get to meet the general. And you go up on the bluff overlooking the beach. And you get to prestige in front of all your friends with the great fanfare. Prestige should have that level of fanfare. Imagine that moment. Nobody wants to go to a party alone. Let's make this meaningful because you've earned it. Lastly, Sledgehammer Games also revealed that they do plan on keeping headquarters up to date and always evolving. There might be even seasonal events based on these events in the headquarters. So possibly like competitive events based on headquarters and seasonal events and all kinds of stuff so if headquarters will all, always be updating always be evolving so no one is behind that is pretty damn badass now i like that prestige concept where you kind of go on top of this hill and you're like hey look at me everybody i'm about to hit max prestige or i'm about to hit my first prestige watch me do it and then they all literally watch you do it because it's up to 48 people guys but that is pretty much it for this one so much new information thanks to michael Condry on headquarters even specifically just headquarters in call of duty world war 2 guys if you guys are new to the channel please make sure to subscribe where i will be covering all kinds of news and info on call of duty in general if you guys did enjoy this video found it informing please make sure to leave a like feel free to share it as well thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys all in my next video take care and peace out here we go